In Adobe Dimension you can render your 3D scene and adapt the settings to your needs. Rendering is the process that draws the scene models, materials, and lights as pixels. Adobe Dimension combines real-time and ray tracing techniques in interactive and offline methods. Render settings allow flexible control over speed and quality. Adobe Dimension uses real-time rendering, optimized for speed and interactivity, by default. Real-time rendering is fast and ideal for general staging work. You can also enable ray tracing, which uses its namesake technique to shoot light rays through the scene. The rays of light bounce off objects and materials, then bounce to the camera lens, which mimics what happens with real physical cameras. Ray tracing provides more information to create realistic shadows, reflections, and translucency. Ray tracing can be used interactively and is best when working on materials, lighting, and finalizing the composition. Use viewport control bar or render using ray tracing to quickly swap between real-time and ray tracing in design mode. Toggle ray tracing quickly using the viewport control bar. This settings allow you to preview your scene before final rendering. You can change between ray tracing and real-time mode and customize many settings for quick or quality preview. Use the Render Settings panel to set the active render method and configure rendering performance and quality settings. You can configure both the real-time and ray tracing methods including common settings like overall quality and whether to use displacement and denoising. Use the Render Settings panel to fine-tune performance and quality of your images.